preparing a wheelchair for a patient, it is very important to have the wheelchair of the appropriate dimensions to our patient so that it improves the efficiency of using a wheel, the wheelchair and reduces the strain, say for example, on the shoulder or the inappropriate sitting position that might cause like back problems or if it is little children that may be uh, sitting uh, with sclerosis, etc, etc. So, what are the dimensions that are very important for us to consider and if possible, uh, when prescribing the wheelchair, we need to take into consideration or um, adjust whenever we get the wheelchair. The first thing is the uh, wheelchair width. And the wheelchair width is the distance between the two parallel bars here. Okay? And um, we will see how we need to fit this with the um, width of the patient's pelvis. But let's just mention the dimensions first. Okay, so the wheelchair width. The other thing is the back height. And the back height is the distance from the back of the chair to um, the bottom here where the patient is sitting. And a very important point to keep in mind uh, when uh, taking the dimensions of the wheelchair, especially these ones here, is that the patient will be sitting on a cushion. And usually cushions are very thick. They might be like five or seven centimeters thick. So if I want to take the back uh, height into consideration, I mean, I need to take the back height into consideration whenever I need to measure it, I need to have the cushion on the chair and then measure the distance from the um, top of the cushion to the back, uh, to the top of the back. That's number two. Number three is the seat depth. And this is the distance between this, um, the front of this sitting area here to the uh, back. So we need to measure this distance. In addition, we need to measure the armrest height, okay, which is the distance from the armrest to the sitting area. And here again, we need to have the cushion. And this is very important because whenever the patient is sitting, we need their arms to be in a 90 degree angle. So if the armrest is too high, then maybe they will have shock in their shoulder, or if it's too low, then they will lean on one or the other, and then this will uh, cause a scoliotic posture. Okay, let's move to other dimensions down there. The other dimension we need to take from the front here is the uh, footrest distance to the um, to the sitting area. And again, this needs to be taken into consideration with the cushion. So if the cushion is here, we need to measure the distance from the top of the cushion to the footrest. And um, we need to adjust this so that when the patient is sitting, okay, we need to have a hip angle that is slightly higher than 90 degrees. Okay, so if the uh, footrest is too low, then the foot would be say like this, okay? So the uh, hip is uh, bent at more than 90 degrees or, or less than 90, or if it is too high, then it's bent at a lot more than 90. So that's why we need to measure this distance. The other thing is we need to measure the distance from the footrest to the floor, and this will affect the clearance of the wheelchair. So if the person runs into any object on the floor, we need to, um, Make sure that this distance allows them to maneuver objects like small objects uh, and not get uh, stuck behind any object they run into. Uh, 